Hi there, it's Julie with the Edmonton Mennonite Center for Newcomers, also known as EMCN. Today we're back for part two of our garbage and recycling series, and Andrea Layton is back to tell us a little bit about how putting out your garbage and recycling in the right way can help with collection and make sure we stay safe and clean. To make sure the waste from our homes is collected, we need to sort waste properly and set them out in specific ways. If people don't set out waste correctly, it will not be collected. There are three really important rules to follow. Firstly, arrows on the top of the carts need to point to the road or alley. Secondly, carts and bins need to have closed lids. Open lids cause problems with litter, pests, smells, and recyclables getting ruined by the rain or snow. Do not overstuff or pile extra waste on top of the carts or shared bins. To add to what Andrea is saying, you'll want to wait to put that extra garbage in the bin for the next garbage pickup. Or you can ask a neighbor if they have extra room in their bin. Do not do this without permission. Or if it's a lot of garbage, like home renovation materials or things that cannot be donated, you can call a private junk removal company, but keep in mind there is a cost which depends on the amount. If you have a vehicle and you can fit the extra garbage in it, you can also take it to the city dump yourself. Again, there is a cost involved. I've put some helpful links in the description of this video so that you can find out exactly what those costs are. Now back to Andrea. And thirdly, leave space beside and above your carts. Parked cars or other property around the carts and bins causes damage. When we set out waste is just as important as where we set it out. The black garbage cart is only picked up every two weeks all year. The green food scraps cart gets picked up every week in the spring, summer, and fall, then every two weeks in the winter. If I set out a cart on the wrong day, then I might wait one to three weeks for the next pickup day. Again, to add to Andrea's helpful explanation, recycling is picked up every week. Your recycling needs to be put out in either a blue or clear bag. These can be purchased at any grocery store. Then there's yard waste collection, which happens twice in the spring and twice in the fall. Again, I'm going to put some links in the description of this video that can help you find out exactly when your yard waste collection dates are. Yard waste consists of things like grass clippings and trimmings from trees. These are collected in large paper bags. Again, you can purchase these at any grocery store. Now back to Andrea, who will explain the garbage collection calendar. For homes using carts, it is really important to put this calendar up where everyone can see it. The calendar shows which carts to put out each week, as well as the special days for yard waste pickup. There are also two ways that people can get a collection reminder, either by downloading the free WasteWise app or edmonton.ca forward slash waste. Well, that's it for today. I hope you found it useful. Until next time, have a great day and stay safe.